In this tutorial, we will be learning about how the denominator of a rational equation and asymptotes are connected. We will start with two things that we already know. First, that when working with fractions, the denominator can't equal zero. Therefore, when looking at y equals 1 over x, the x cannot equal zero. You might remember this as a restriction. Second, when looking at a graph, we see that when the function approaches a specific point from each side, but does not reach it, we call it an asymptote. Now, this graph is actually the function of 1 over x. Can you see the connection between the two ideas here? Take a moment and see if you can spot it. Okay, where x equals 0 in the denominator is where the asymptote is. A vertical asymptote is created when the denominator of a rational equation equals zero. Consider the following example. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals three. If we solve our equation for the coordinates approaching x equals three, we see that as we get closer to the denominator equaling zero at x equals three, our y values get infinitely small if approaching from the left and large if approaching from the right. When looking at a rational equation, we determine the vertical asymptotes by solving the denominator for zero. The x values that cause the denominator to equal zero are the locations of our asymptotes. You have probably done this before when you learned about restrictions. Consider the following example. What are the vertical asymptotes of this function? Take the denominator and solve for zero. After working our way through, we see that there are vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 1. When looking at a graph of this function, we see that there are vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 1, just as we would expect to see. In this lesson, you learned about rational equations and how having x in the denominator creates vertical asymptotes and that by solving the denominator for zero, you can find the location of the vertical asymptotes.